What's up, YouTube? It's Heretic here, and welcome back today as we are finally back after nearly a week of being absent. Sorry about that, but we are back with a bang, and Primal Groudon for standard format is the deck we're looking at. This is a deck mostly associated with the expanded format due to cards like Tropical Beach that can help it set up and maintain its pace of play, as well as the popularity of Seismitoad EX. But this is a deck that I still believe can be very powerful and standard given the right build, so... This is the list I've been tinkering with, and we're going to go ahead and take a look at it. Of course, Primal Groudon and its awesome full art form here. But this is our featured attacker, 240 HP, absolutely massive. And Gaia Volcano, its attack needing 4 energy, but dealing 100 damage. Plus, if there's a stadium card in play, you deal an additional 100, equaling 200 damage, and then discarding that stadium card. Now, with the help of strong energy, we can easily hit 240, which would be enough damage to take out anything in the game right now in a single attack. So we run a 3-3 line of Groudon. We have a 3-2 Carbon Break line, and this is just kind of speed acceleration, especially if we need to get two Groudons charged up or we need to go in a hurry. Kind of helps against faster decks since Groudon is typically a little slower. Carbon Break offering the attack Diamond Gift for one fighting energy, which deals 20 damage and allows you to attach any two energy from your discard pile, basic or special, onto one of your benched fighting type Pokemon. So that being Groudon, of course. And of course, regular Carbink also offers the Safeguard ability, protecting it from all effects of attacks, including damage, from your opponent's Pokemon EX. And even with Silent Lab in play... Once he's break evolved, he's no longer a basic, so you still get safeguard then. So, pretty effective staller while we get Primal Ground on ready. We also have Wobbuffet to stall as well, two copies of him. By Barricade, while Wobbuffet is active, taking away the abilities of every Pokemon in play, in hand, and in discard pile, except for Psychic types. Big way to stop cards like Shaman EX especially from allowing your opponent to set up. You can also wall it against Greninja to prevent Water Shuriken from becoming a thing. So our last Pokemon is one Regirock. This has the same Omega Barrier Ancient trait that Primal Groudon does, which I will go over here in a second. Regirock for 110 HP for a basic. Uh, we really use it mainly for its combination of the Omega Barrier Ancient trait and its first attack, Landmaker, which for one fighting allows you to put two stadium cards from your discard pile into your hand, which of course we know stadium cards are huge for Groudon, as it needs one in play to be able to hit those big numbers north of 200. You can also charge it up to attack as a non-EX attacker. Needs four energy just like Primal Groudon and has a much weaker attack, but still useful in a pinch. Stone Edge dealing 80 damage with a coin flip to add 40 more if the result is heads. So if you do go against a Regice and you can't find Pokemon Ranger, Maybe it's in the prizes. You could always try to attack with Regirock. Now, Regirock and Primal Groudon both, as I mentioned, have the Omega Barrier Ancient trait, which prevents all effects of your opponent's trainer cards except for stadium cards and Pokemon tools done to the Pokemon with this Ancient trait. This includes huge meta cards like Lysander, Crushing Hammer in the variants of Mega Scizor especially, anything that would bring it forward, if your active Pokemon has Omega Barrier, it prevents Escape Rope from sending it to the bench. Those are just a couple big ones, really just off the top of my head, but really outstanding card. And really protection from Lysander, I think, is the big reason why we go about this. So, in any case, we're going to go ahead and get into our item count here. We've got one Escape Rope for a switch method. Can also just kind of mess your opponent up, force them to bring up something maybe they don't want to. And Groudon's got a big retreat, so when you start with a regular one, you want to have a couple outs to get it out of the active. So Escape Rope is one of them. Next, we have two Mega Turbos, since we play a 3-3 Mega Evolution line, and it's our main attacker. The combination of Carbink and Mega Turbo allows us to re-accelerate energy, especially if we have to get a second Groudon going. Next, we have four Puzzle of Time. Being able to recycle our Stadium cards or anything else we really might want in a slower deck when you can afford to draw into stuff like this, plus the fact that we run teammates allows us to make very good use of Puzzle of Time. So really just being able to play that and just blow up on a turn when we really need to get that Groud on attacking. So four Puzzle of Time. Then we have four Ultra Ball and four VS Seeker. Pretty much the norm. No Trainer's Mail. 
because we opted for a puzzle of time here instead I find it to be more useful overall in this deck and this is a slower deck so generally we're not going to be speeding for a turn two guy a volcano as that's pretty much impossible so our supporter line we've got my basic pyramid that I've kind of been preaching here for a bit especially in standard which is four sycamore three and two lysander one hex maniac all of these cards good in these numbers here in this particular list we have two additional supporters one is pokemon ranger this is pretty much exclusively for regice and uh, glaceon ex two cards that could really mess us up we do have the regular groudon that can also work against glaceon as well as regirock which can work against regice in the event that we prize pokemon ranger but otherwise this is our route to those cards uh pretty good pretty solid effect we could also escape rope and then lysander if we needed to and then finally as i mentioned before we have one copy of teammates since usually we're walling with either wobbuffet or carbank to start things off one of them is going to get knocked out and that's usually when we can go teammates for either whatever two energy cards or whatever we need or a double puzzle of time and get the Groudon rolling on that turn. Really, really good card, and especially in conjunction with Puzzle of Time. So that is our supporter line. Next, we have a whopping five stadium cards to make use with Groudon's attack, and we split them amongst three different stadiums. First, we have two copies of Parallel City. This is to counter namely decks like Rainbow Road and Rayquaza. Rainbow Road is definitely one of our more awkward matchups. Rayquaza, on the other hand, you can lock down with a couple of parallel plays and a Wobbuffet. Next, we have two copies of Silent Lab. This deals with Safeguard. Also takes away Shaman in the event that we don't get a Wobbuffet early enough. And finally, one Scorched Earth, which allows us to discard an energy for an additional two cards. And then retrieve that energy and accelerate it with either Carving Break or Mega Turbo. So we got some synergy going on there. Little two assault vests next uh we don't play spirit link because again we're going a little on the slow route assault vest can help out against mega rayquaza once again also mega mewtwo and anything else that runs special energy to power its attacks and then we have two float stones for more switching methods since we do have some high retreat costs in this deck with groudon regirock and also wobbuffet so that is all of our trainers and finally we have our energy six basic fighting energies, and four strong energies to finish up, getting the extra damage off of Primal Groudon's and Carbink's attacks, mainly just for Groudon to hit those magic numbers in one shot. Mega Pokemon, since that will then eventually get the job done. So this is a slower deck that sets up, of course, and then OHKOs, as you guys have likely seen and expanded, and we are going to take it for a standard run now. Okay, so Water and Colorless, that's probably Frogs. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. I need Wobbuffet to do its job here. All right, we'll win the coin flip. Cool, cool. Go first. Ugh. And we have to start with the Groudon. Lovely. That's not too good. All right. Yeah, that looks like frogs to me. He's got the bursting balloon. Oh. Yep. All right. That's two free cards. We need to find a floatstone or escape rope here. All right. Good news is we have a couple turns to do so. All right. So he does flip over the Froakie. Okay. And I think I'm actually going to go ahead and parallel this way. So we can get a damage reduction effect out of that. Go ahead and attach an energy up there, and we're just going to end here. Got a handful of supporters that we don't really need just yet. We do find the escape rope, but unfortunately what we don't find here is the Wobbuffet. So, I think we just pass? I mean, we, we got the rope, but we don't have anything to really use it with, and hopefully he doesn't wally. We do see the rough seas, which... It's not really too big of a deal. I mean, if, if Groudon's attacking, it's taking OHKOs. So we see a bubble here. He fails to paralyze us. So we draw Silent Lab. Actually, I think that's a disadvantage to have that in play. So 
we draw, we get Rip Claw. Unfortunately, we don't have strong energies to get the Donk. Um, I think we just discard the rest of this. Ugh, yuck. Gross. Alright, well, we're going to puzzle a time here. Look at our top three. Okay. So, oh, well, there is not a Primal Groudon in that top three. One, two, three, I suppose. And we'll rip claw here for 30 damage and try to discard that energy. All right. And we could actually get this thing fully powered as soon as next turn. We do see an energy attachment. Rough Seas heals the 30. Super Rod is going to send that water energy back, so we're probably going to get Sycamore here. Yep. All right, so he discards Talonflame, uh, Super Rod, let's see, Greninja. All right, see another Froakie, we see a Frogadier, a Bursting Balloon, and here comes Water Duplicates, and the whole thing just shifted in one turn. And he only gets one Frogadier out of the deck. Oh my goodness. Yikes. Okay, so we do have one energy in the discard, so we can attach one up here. And I think we just go for the Sycamore. And we can just throw this stuff away. Okay, and we still do not hit the Wobbuffet. So we will Primal Mega Evolve, whatever you want to call it. Primal Groudon will see the board. But it's going to start taking some damage here because... Be really surprised. Yeah, I was gonna say, be real surprised if Greninja didn't come into play right here and start dealing out 80 per turn. In fact, we're gonna see two of them, which means we're probably gonna see Greninja break next turn. And I wonder if he's got a Frogadier in his hand. Okay, I guess not. He's Sycamore's away, VS Seeker, and Ultra Ball, so he's got two Frogadiers, it looks like, then in the prizes. We do see the promo Froakie actually comes out this time. That's the good one. So level balls for Froakie. Another bursting balloon goes on to that Greninja, which is not what we want to see. And we get a Moonlight Slash here for 80 damage. Oh, and that is all kinds of things we don't want to see. Okay, so we get Wob. We're going to go ahead. We're going to attach that. We're going to retreat into Wob. We're going to attach an energy. And I think we're just going to end here. Okay. Well, that didn't really help. Ugh. All kinds of grossness going on with this. We do get rid of that bursting balloon, though. Kind of wishing that we ran super potions right now. So, of course, he does go just dive ball the Greninja break so the break goes on the benched one we do have a Lysander in here I believe yes we do so we're going to take another Moonlight Slash and I think we also have Hex no we, sh no, we shuffled Hex back in that sucks alright so we can Lysander I guess so yeah let's go ahead and we'll do that Lysander up the Greninja break. And we might as well try to get this thing set up. And I don't think we're going to be using our double puzzles anytime in this game, so let's do this. Okay. Yeah, I think we want that. Okay, and then we're going to Gaia Volcano this thing right off the board. Get out of here. And if we can get the second Greninja off the board, we can put ourselves in a nice spot. He could do 80 damage with, uh, with Moonlight Slash. Instead, he's going to Shadow Stitch us here for only 40. Interesting situation. So we're going to, let's see, we're going to go ahead and Ultra Ball away the Regirock and the Strong Energy, and we're going to go find Carbink Break. And that's going to 
at least give us something else to work with while we sycamore this hand away. Of course, there's nothing left in it, and we do get the stadium. Okay, so we'll go ahead and throw the Scorched Earth into play, discard. So we draw, we draw okay off that, and don't really think there's too much else that needs to happen here. We could bench another Groudon, but I guess that's not the worst idea. Uh, yeah, we haven't attached an energy yet, so we can put another one down, and Gaia Volcano will take that thing out. So we'll get another prize, and we're up pretty good now. I mean, it's only a two-prize advantage, but it's, more importantly, we're at least able to withstand and prevent Greninja from coming out next turn, barring a rare candy. At least we know we don't have a Greninja break on the on the horizon here. You see Super Rod sending probably an entire Greninja line back. At the very least, we know Frogadier is going back. Probably going to see Frogadier, Greninja, and Greninja break. Alright, and that's exactly what we see. So that all goes back into the deck. We do see an Eco Arm here, too. So he's going to send those two Bursting Balloons back. And that's a little uh, something we should probably take into account. We get bubbled into Paralysis here. Pretty sure we already discarded the uh, escape rope, yeah. Now, we don't have a stadium, but we don't need one. Anyway, uh, let's see. Go ahead and just jam the assault vest on there. And uh, got a Lysander, got a Sycamore. No. I don't have a Hex Maniac, unfortunately. So I guess we just Mega again. So he bubbles again, but this time he misses. So we've got an open Lysander invitation this time. Um, let's see. Unfortunately, we don't have a knockout. So it's probably not good to bring up the Greninja in that scenario. So instead, let's see here. Could Lysander the Frogadier? Doesn't seem like the worst idea. If we had another strong energy here, I suppose we could have just knocked him out. Okay, and he's going to forfeit the game right there, so leaving just one Greninja, we would have been able to power up another Groudon. So Primal Groudon overcomes Greninja, and that's an interesting thing to see happen. I can imagine that's not as common as, as we might have just witnessed, but... Nonetheless, Groudon gets the job done, so we will take it into another game here and try to make it two for two. Okay, so a Mewtwo box, Psychic, Colorless, yeah, you don't have to be much more convincing than that. That said, you get a plaza if it's not Mewtwo, because you really will have fooled me in that situation. Okay, so we're going to start going second. Uh, nothing. Oh, Mulligan on, the, on her end, too. Okay, so... Double Molly, Wobbuffet, Wobbuffet. No, okay. Well, I'm kind of glad we're sending that one back. Not really sure that the Garbodor is going to do much against us. Could potentially be a problem for carving. Oh my god, again? What is it with these Groudon stars? So I got to cut this to a 2 2 line? Might actually have to do that. This wasn't doing this before, though, so I don't know. You probably could get by, get by with a 2-2 Grout online. Okay, so she starts with a Trubbish. Well, we don't play any Shamans, so that's fine. Alright, so Mewtwo gets an Energy. We see an Ultra Ball, discarding Trubbish, and Level Ball. Interesting. Is there a target, maybe maybe a promo Sableye in there? Something other than Trubbish that can be brought out? She's going to go ahead and grab a Mega Mewtwo with that Ultra Ball. And probably realizing she can play the slow game here. So we draw nothing too special. So we're going to Float Stone. We're going to Strong Energy. 
And I think we're just going to throw the rest away and hope that we get another basic. Okay, we do get the carving. That's good. That's what we wanted. So we can retreat into carving here and hopefully not get re Lysandered to get a hit laid down on us. Okay, so Garbodor comes out. So that's probably going to get a float stone now, which is just going to make our lives miserable. And instead, we just see a direct evolution into Mega Mewtwo, so probably an, an advisory there not to play the uh, the N. So instead, let's see, there's an energy in there. We can attach, can attach up here. It's fine. If it survives a turn, then that's awesome. And unfortunately, we're throwing a lot of VS Seekers away. Two of them right off the bat, along with both of our Lysanders. Don't want to end if we don't have to, though. Okay, we do get the Ultra Ball, so we can go grab a Primal Fish. Or, not Primal Fish, sorry, wrong deck. <laughs> go grab a Primal Groudon here. Whatever Groudon, it, Primal Volcano? I don't know. And I think we just go ahead and evolve it. Take away Lysander privileges. Okay, so she's got a trainer's mail now, so reach for a supporter, I imagine. Instead, we get the floatstone. Okay, so the Mewtwo will be able to come out now, and Safeguard will also be shut down. Really wishing we would have attached this energy back here now. So she's going to Lysander, but it's going to do absolutely nothing. Oh, ouch. Ancient traits be like, yo, Omega Barrier. So, she's going to VS Seeker right back for the Lysander and then just pass. Okay, so, let's see, we can just, I don't have to discard two of them, just discard one. Alright, I'm going to go find the Carving Break. Because Carving already has an energy, so we can get a double attach there. Someone downstairs isn't too happy. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and evolve, and then we're going to Diamond Gift here. So 20 damage, 2 energies, say hi. And we are 1 energy away from Gaia Volcano now. The only other thing we need than that is a Versa Seeker. So Floatstone finally goes down onto Garbodor, which means that Mega Mewtwo can come out and start wailing. And of course, if... She's nice enough to knock out Carving. That energy will be discarded. Mega Turbo can bring it back. Parallel can go into play. And then Mewtwo goes boom. So that's a pretty nice string of things that could happen. Well, instead, she's just going to pass the turn. So we draw Wobbuffet. That's eh, not really doing much. Um, I guess we'll just take the free 20 damage. You can't Lysander, so unless you have an escape rope, you're going to have to KO this thing. Alright, so now we see a Skyla. So, let's see. No energy in there. I'm guessing just a supporter. Yeah, just a, just a Sycamore. And we can just kind of wait patiently for uh, Carbink to get knocked out here, I think. We do draw the energy. So we can go ahead and we could knock out the Garbodor. Or we could just wait for the Mewtwo, which is probably the better idea. So I think we're actually going to attach to the... The Regi Rock here. And then, oh, we probably should have hit it for 20, but whatever. Alright, so we see a Floatstone on the Mewtwo now. A Sycamore discarding Spirit Link, Ultra Ball, Lysander. Another Trubbish comes down, that's fine. Double Colorless goes to the Mewtwo. And I could play chess all day. It's kind of what Groudon's built to do. So we really should have hit the, the uh, Garb. But, okay, so she's just going to retreat into Trubbish here. And if we find an Energy and a Lysander before that second Mewtwo comes up, we're going to be in big, big business. And instead, we find a Primal Groudon. Well, that's not helping. So, I think we just go ahead and Diamond Gift here for 20. Not really much else. I mean, we could Land Maker, but that doesn't help. If we draw Lysander, we could just retreat... Which, don't think we draw a Lysander, we gotta draw a Verse Seeker. Oh, hey, look at that, there it is, okay. 
So, uh, that just made life 20 times easier. We can retreat into Groudon here. Mega Turbo. And give me your Mewtwo. Bring that up. Parallel. And boom goes the Dynamite. There goes Mount Vesuvius, ladies and gentlemen. Boom, boom. All right. And so, that early, the, she's left with two Garbodors, so that early Garbodor, you know, for locking down any potential shame in play, and that's a Groudon player's dream right there. So, um, really doing Wobbuffet's job for it. So, we, just, we get end into a Sycamore. <laughs> Couldn't really ask for much better than that, other than maybe a Lysander. I guess that would have been better. But we can always retreat right out of Groudon here if we feel we need to. Which wouldn't be the worst play ever, gotta say. And even start charging up the um, the Regirock here for a potential alternate attack. Let's see. Got some decent stuff going for it. So a Mewtwo comes down with an energy. We draw a puzzle of time. Let's see, we got one in the ditch, that's it. So, that's not bad. Um, let's see, the second floatstone is yet to be found. So I suppose we could go Assault Vest over here. And I think we almost actually just want to discard this energy because we could just get it back with Carb Ink. So just free to throw all that away. All right. And we do find a strong energy for Carb Ink. So I think we probably just retreat right back into that. No stadium. Of course, not that that really matters. So I think we just Diamond Gift here. Um, do 40 damage to this Garb. Get an energy to accelerate. And we can go ahead and throw that on the Roger Rock. And we actually may not need to charge up another Groudon here. It's certainly an appealing option to have. But the risk you run by putting a basic Groudon down on the board, even for that one turn, is just, it's pretty significant. And we can also get that double puzzle of time play down the line to potentially retrieve some Lysanders. So we see her discard two stadiums with the Ultra Ball here to go grab the Mega Mewtwo. Not even going to put those things in play and take that chance because Groudon will just wreak havoc on everything once that happens. We also see Super Rod, and we've got an Escape Rope play in hand. May want to wait a turn to make that happen, though. So we can knock out this Garbodor, and then try to take an EX KO after that. Alright, so we do see Mega Mewtwo is put into play, and we're just going to go ahead and attach another energy to this Regirock, and we're going to knock this Garb out. So that'll give her some mobility, but still no option to Lysander whatsoever. So Regirock and Primal Groudon can just kind of sit there like, Yo, what's up? Hi, I'm here. You can kill my buddy Carbink, that's fine. So an energy attachment, a Mega Turbo, so going all in. And we see another Lysander, and it doesn't work on Primal Groudon. Nor does it work on Regirock, you know. That Omega Barrier is just getting in there. And I think that's probably just about the nail in the coffin now. Because I think it was a misplay to bring the Mewtwo up. So Psychic Infinity is going to blow up Carbank. But Primal Groudon is going to have the opportunity to come up and just finish this game off. If we can draw into a Stadium card here. So we don't hit one yet. So let's see here. We have... Another carb ink we can put down. Let's go ahead and play the Ultra Ball. We can just throw those out. Pull the Primal from the deck. That's fine. And we'll just attach the energy over here. We can float stone up here. And we don't even need to play the escape rope because we have the KO here. So we're just digging for a stadium at this point. Which we do not find. Alright. So... 
We also don't find teammates, and we don't find our puzzles. So lots of stuff missing right now. And so we're going to go ahead and play this. And we can discard those two. What do we have? Let's see. We've only got one puzzle, but we've got three stadiums in the deck out of six cards. We'll grab that Wobbuffet to increase those odds to 60% drawing a stadium next turn. And then we're just going to retreat right back into Car Bank. And we'll give you another Sitting Duck. Kind of wishing now that we would have played the Escape Rope just to finish off that uh, Garbodor on the bench. Could have used Regirock to do that. So Psychic Infinity is once again going to blow this thing out of the water. And we have the Lysander availability now as well. That is an option. We do draw the Parallel City, so we can just throw Parallel City down. And Gaia Volcano here for another knockout, so... Capitalizing on those Lysanders for sure, but the lack of abilities, I think, on her end is definitely what's really putting the nail in the coffin here. This Garbodor is once again forced to come up, and there is the forfeit. So we take down a couple of meta decks. Very, very effective. Primal Groudon getting the job done and doing it very effectively. So, uh... Nice effort there overall. Uh, Greninja and Mega Mewtwo, a couple of major players that I would expect to see at regionals this coming weekend. And Primal Groudon t does the job against both of them. So anyway, uh, that's what we have for you right now, and I will see you guys next time. Cheers.